wonderful hour. I've learned so much, and we've got another lineup of calls. We're going to get right to them. Alex on the line. Hi, Alex. Hi there. How are you? I am very good. How are you? Good, thank you. Do you have a question for Linda? Yes, I do. Go for it. Uh, Linda, so I'm an event planner, and as a planner, I stand around all day and realize that it may not be so good for my health, for my back, and for my posture. So I don't have any of those yet, but what is the consequence of running around all day and just wondering if you have any advice for me when I'm doing so? Well, I can tell you from experience, there's nothing worse than um, concrete floors. Mm -hmm. And if you're an event planner, I know that you're on them constantly. Uh, we talked about this a little earlier, is changing up your shoes on a regular basis, even when you are you know, busy planning. Mm -hmm. Have those running shoes handy, have the hard shoes, move it around. There are some taping techniques as well. That There's, there's something called um, elastoplast. And elastoplast is a type of stretchy adhesive tape, right. and it gives your it could give your foot an extra set of skin, and that helps prevent some of those hot spots that rub and make blisters and and such. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we talked about a handy ice pack. Mm -hmm. So on a break, throw some ice down and put those feet on it. It would make all the difference in the world over time. You sound like you're young enough, so. Uh, uh, you know, st stay fit, stay healthy. Yeah, and try that foot soak. I'm going to try that foot yeah. soak. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Let's Alex. move on to Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Barbara, are you on the line? I'm not sure if we've got her. Hi, Barbara. We lost her. We may have lost her. We'll come back to you, Barbara. Let's go to Jennifer now. Hi, Jennifer. Hi there. How are you today? I'm doing fabulous. How are you? Good, thank you. Question for Linda? I just had a question about how meditation ties into reflexology because I know all our systems are connected and I'm just wondering, you know, will working on reflexology help my meditation or vice versa or how does this work? You know what? Good timing because we were just talking mm -hmm. about actually self-hypnosis on the break and Julia had asked me a question and I was explaining that reflexology speeds up the process. And the same with um, meditation, because there are so many kinds of meditations, mindful, walking, visualization. So the answer is yes, big time. Um, Self-reflexology is your best friend when it comes to um, you know, starting the process of meditation. It expedites that calming, that sense of relaxation that you need to induce to, to go to your place. Right. So I highly suggest it. Excellent. Thanks, Jennifer. Good luck with that. Thank you. And let's move on to Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Hi. How are you today? I'm very well. How are you? Good, thank you. Do you have a question for Linda? I do. Um, I just actually, I, I'm familiar with foot uh, reflexology, and I didn't really realize that there was hand and face re reflexology, and I just wanted to know, is one better than the other, or, or what the main difference is between them? Um, you know what? There's hands, there's feet, there's face, there's ears, and they all have um, a specific place. Hands are our emotional messengers. So specifically with, with hands, um, if somebody is upset, you get, to, you get to that through the hands faster than, say, the feet. The feet... I usually uh, suggest when your, uh, your situation is more physical that you can go deeper. Feet can handle more. They're tougher. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, it's all good. It all works together. But uh, hands, hands are delicate. All right. Good question. That's yeah. a good one. All right. We've got Barbara back on the line. Hi, Barbara. Hello, Barbara. I'm not hearing her. No. Oh, can you turn your TV down, Barbara? We'll see if we can get you on before the end of the show, Barbara. Sorry for, for these difficulties. We'll, we'll work on getting her back on. So we talked a lot about, and, and one of our last callers, the meditation and, and the spirituality of yes. all of these modes coming together. What about creating a life affirmation or an affirmation? How does that play into reflexology? Well, just, just like in self-hypnosis, you, you write the script. Mm -hmm. So 
I would suggest that you give yourself a, a positive affirmation. You know, uh, I'm feeling well and fit and happy and grateful right. today. When you are giving yourself the affirmation and you're reflexing at the same time, you're, you're telling your subconscious and your subconscious believes you. It's, it's just induced, you know, being positive. Good energy. And yeah. We had a, a previous caller earlier today, Linda, I believe, whose mom passed away. Yes. A great, she needed some motivation and it, she needed to pick me up. And we mentioned the five-minute motivator. Right. So use which, the five-minute motivator, get an affirmation. There and, you go. And believe it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you, you're, you're activating those hormones. Your, your brain's sending the signals. I mean, just by doing this simple tapping, mm -hmm. you can start the endorphins going. It's, you know, you can't always just go for a run to, to kickstart the endorphins. You can do it yourself through self-reflexology. You can change your mood in a snap. Right. We've only got a few more minutes left in the show. You've got a brand new book you mentioned coming out. I do. Reflexology to go. It's uh, self-healing on for daily wellness. It will be uh, on my website very soon. All right. And we've got your website information, so we'll put yes. that up on the screen. And you're doing all these workshops and guest appearances coming up. I am going to be at the International Home Show at the International Center November 7 and 10. The show is actually on from the 7th to the 10th. I'm speaking for the two days on the Thursday and the Sunday and all the information is also on the front page of my website. All right, we've got less than a minute left. If you had to give anyone at home very quick advice, they've never done reflexology, what should they do? I would suggest that you read everything you can get your hands on, including my book, <laughs> and just take your time to self-explore and embrace the fact that you can be an active part of your own daily wellness. Excellent. Well said. Thank you, Linda. Thanks for being Thank a wonderful you. guest. Of course, if you have more questions and you'd like some more information on Linda's services or what she does or anything that we talked about today, you can visit our website at rogerstv.com slash in the know, or you can visit Linda's website, lindagooge.com. I want to thank everyone thank for you. calling. It's been a very busy show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you here next time. Thank you.